نحمده ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا وسندنا وحبيبنا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تبارك وتعالى عليه وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني فوق قولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقو قولي رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني فوق قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب زدني علما وارزقني فهما My dear brothers and sisters, young and old, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah. I hope you are all well and you've enjoyed the blessings of the day and the night of Jummah. Alhamdulillah. And you've had plenty of Dhru Sharif upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And you made plenty of dua for the Muslim brothers and sisters in Palestine who are being uh, slaughtered by because of no fault of their own. May Allah Ta'ala help them and may Allah Ta'ala enable us to help them as well. So always, always make dua. And uh, for these brothers and sisters, that's just the minimum, obviously. There's so much more you can do, you can contribute. Uh, you know, you can give sadaqah, lillah, for Allah's pleasure to these amazing, amazing people of Palestine. Amazing, brave people. Uh, you can do so much. There's a march tomorrow in London. Adil Bawa just telling me now, mashallah. Uh, <clears throat> there'll be an amazing march. If you can please join it'll be wonderful to see all the muslims these peaceful brothers and sisters uh, who will inshallah attend inshallah you know many things my friends in this day and age if you read the news and you look at the news and you see the visual graphics you know in alillahi wa rajun you can't sleep uh, personally you know uh, myself, you know, when I was, uh, uh, you know, I, I was having dreams of, you know, dead bodies, etc. Very, very bad. I think, you know, we're trained to deal with kind of things like that to some degree <coughs> because of <coughs> our medical training. But many people can't, they can't, you know, unko bichara traumatize ho jate. So today we're going to talk about just, first of all, you know, mental health is very important. So I'm going to mention some ways to keep yourself, any you know, uh, in balance, keep your mental health in balance. Very, very important. <clears throat> very important. In the band today, may Allah accept it in Shafil, I mentioned the importance of having hope and uh, doing dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I mentioned ayats like, For the, all the conclusions of everything lie with Allah. The conclusions of everything <clears throat> lay with Allah. How things pan out, how things will end. Only Allah Ta'ala knows and only Allah controls. And then, Wallahu ghalibun ala amrihi wa lakinna akhtaran nasi la ya'lamun. That Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is fully in control of His affairs, but most people don't know. Everything that occurs, it occurs with Allah's knowledge. And Allah Ta'ala knows how it will end. And by the grace of Allah, it always, always ends in the manner of Allah Ta'ala's choosing. Subhanallah. But it's very important, you know, our mental health, especially with young children and teenagers and even the elders, mental health gets the full force of any kind of, you know, uh, of any bad news. Yeah, mental health. So today we're going to go through 10 things which, inshallah, if you utilize, your mental health will get very, very strong. And right at the top of the list, I mean, it's not even on this list, it goes without saying, is dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, full faith in the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and understanding that the actions of the wise are always full of wisdom. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows everything, He sees everything, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very merciful and very halim. You know, he watch, he's, because obviously we're in the dunya for a test. Some of us are getting higher and higher and higher and higher ranks in paradise. And some of us are earning the lower and lower and lower and the lowest depth in Jahannam. According to the actions, the more good you do, you go higher in paradise. And the paradise, you know, it's amazing. It goes on for so, so long. In fact, once Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi said to the Sahaba Karam, that he said, you know, in, to the next meaning, that everybody... You know, some people, well, people will look at the, you know, they look up and right in the far horizon, 
they'll see the uh, next jannatis, the next dweller of paradises, kind of house and domain and his land and his planet and his worlds. So much so the hadith says that Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Hazrat Muhammad was saying, uh, our teacher, Hazrat Sheikh, Hazrat Muhammad bin Bilal sahab, uh, he was saying this yesterday that the, the, you, the, the, the Rasulullah looked up so much that Rasulullah says Mubarak, Imam Sharif, you know, uh, kind of tumbled and fell on the ground so high. So, mashallah, some of us are earning these high, high ranks, and some of us, Allah, Allah keep us safe, or some individuals are earning the lowest and the deepest parts of Jahannam. You know, it's, it's not just one. Uh, size for everybody, uh, everybody will get according to what they've earned. <clears throat> Our brothers and sisters who are going through literally so much trauma and so much tragedy, imagine what their ranks will be. And then their ranks of shuhada, of being martyred, Allahu Akbar. Very, very, very special rank. Allah has certain quarters, you know, it's not easy becoming a shaheed. These people, and I've mentioned this yesterday, I mentioned it today as well actually, that you know, <clears throat> When a person is tested, you are, we're always being tested day in, day out with happiness, with tragedy, with, you know, good circumstances, with difficult circumstances, we're all being tested. Now we look at this test, does this test bring us close to Allah? Then that's a very, very positive thing. And that means that you have, you have, you know, uh, you've, been, you've succeeded in the test or does the test take us away from Allah? If so, then you fail the test. And we see with our... Muslim brothers and sisters, that in Palestine, all from their mouth that's being uttered is Allah, 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 Akbar, Alhamdulillah, Subhanallah. Even in such adverse circumstances, where, like, you know, it's like uh, Kiamat taking place upon them. Ya Allah. <laughs> may Allah Ta'ala help them, and may Allah help us to help them as well. Ameen. So, mental health is very important. The first thing I want to mention that 10 ways to be truly you know, balanced and be happy in your life according to neuroscientists. Number one, the first thing is do nice thing for nice things for other people. Do nice things for other people. Basam ye ke ye jo zehni tawazan hota hai, jisko mental health kehte hain, ye bohot hi lazmi hai, bohot hi lazmi hai, aur aajkal to bacha bacha aur har aadmi iska shikar hai. कि उनको ज़हनी ज़हनी एक के जो तबादल होता है उसके अंदर उनको खुलजन होती है और वो बीमार हो जाते हैं तो हम इंशाल्लाह अभी दस चीजें का तस्कर करेंगे इंशाल्लाह ताला अगर आदमी इस पर अमल करे तो उनका जो ज़हनी तबादल होगा वो बिल्कुल ठीक रहेगा उनको ज़हनी उलझन नहीं होगी और सबसे पहली चीज यही है कि अल्लाह से ना उम्मीद ना होना अल्लाह से पूरी उम्मीद बांधना अल्लाह ताला पर पूरा तवक्कुल करना और अल्लाह के साथ हुस्न ज़न करना और अपना ईमान यकीन मजबूत रखना कि अल्लाह ताला हर चीज जो करते हैं यानी उसके अंदर फायदा ही फायदा है और खैर और और खैर है ओके द फर्स्ट थिंग आई मेंशन वाज डू नाइस थिंग्स फॉर अदर्स 